it's me again teacher Janelle and in this video I'm gonna have to try to teach you how to edit videos using your KineMaster pardon me if you don't feel comfortable with me saying KineMaster I am more comfortable saying KineMaster than KineMaster don't get me wrong but I'm not really an expert with video editing but I'm gonna have to share to you the little that I know about editing well in this era of the internet and the pandemic so students have to do video editing and audio and some stuff so the least i can do is share what i know about video editing well before we go on i'm gonna have to tell you that it's, it was my son mark jemsel focus who taught me the ins and outs of the kinemaster what i'm gonna show you is the expected output of this very basic tutorial Then you'd see the T symbol, the T icon, you click that. Once you see the keyboard, of course that's your cue. Start typing. Once you're done typing, then you'd see your text on your screen. See, you can actually resize or reposition that this point on the, the correct icons. You can actually change the font style. You have an array of choices when you click the correct button. And of course, you can also change your text if you change your mind about what you wrote there. Now let's try to change the color of your text. So all you're going to do is click that square icon with the white one and then you'd, uh, you'd see a triangle and a circle with colors in it you just put the circle small circle in the color of your choice and then go to the triangle for the final one and then click the drop down arrow to finalize your choice in order to edit the text you have to make sure you click that at the bottom so you'd see a yellow color surrounding the rectangle figure that means it could be edited now always click the drop down arrow to finalize your choice in every edit that you make when you hold and drag the text or any media that you put in your screen or in your project you could always change its position in your screen Let's try to put some stickers or some icons into your project. So first thing you're going to do is click overlay and then you get choices. These choices actually are to be downloaded, but there are already some icons that are there. But if you want more, you go to the store to download them. You can extend the width of the icon by simply dragging it to the designated width that you think should be good for your project.
time to add some music. So of course you'd have to click that music icon there. That is very conspicuous. You can see that. Now it will lead you to your albums or your downloads. So to add, just click the plus button. You can still use the hold and drag technique to reposition your audio or your music to where it's supposed to be. How about we add one more video? Of course, you know what to do. Go to media and of course, you're going to have to choose from your gallery. Now that you already have two videos, let's try adding some transition effect. Click that white button in between the videos and you'd see options, choices as to which effect you want to use. Just click your choice. Now let's learn to cut your videos, your images, or your audios. So click the media first, an audio, a video, or an image. Then of course you click that scissors icon that would lead you to... To adjust the volume, click the speaker icon and you'd see there the numbers so you could just drag them down or up. This time, let's play with speed control. So where do we go? So let's find that icon, speed. Now you can adjust. When you decide on a higher speed, like 3 or 4, don't worry if the preview is not as you expected. It may appear to be laggy, but that's not a problem. Say you want to zoom in some parts of your video. So the first thing you're going to do is of course, select the video. Then, position the playhead to the part of the video you want to zoom in. Then, click the icon between the scissors and the speakers. Split and insert. Now let's add some image or videos to your existing video. Click media as instructed by the arrow there. Then you are going to be led again to your gallery or to your downloads and then you choose from among them. You can see your video in your gallery with uh, the album export. So that's the entire tutorial. So ta-ta for now. See you next time.